One of the newer types of marketing campaigns we can create in MailChimp is a landing page. A landing page is usually anyway a page, a web page that's very specific to a product or maybe it's for a sign up. We've probably all seen landing pages, just not realized that they're actually landing pages because landing pages are very focused. If someone was searching for something on the web, for example, and we sent them to our usual website homepage, we might have uh, videos, we might have various different products, various different services, uh, contact forms and so on. It's not specific enough because we don't want to talk a person out of a sale by confusing them with too much information. We want to show them what they're looking for, for example, on um, in a Google search or, or, or something like that. So let's go into MailChimp and we'll create a landing page. So a landing page is hosted by MailChimp itself, but we can make it look totally invisible to the end user, to the person that views it, by using your own domain name, even though it's hosted by MailChimp. So I'm in MailChimp, as you can see, and I'm going to go into my campaigns. I'm going to click Create Campaign, and I want to create a landing page. I need to name the landing page. I can call it wherever I want to. I'll just call it test landing for now. I need to select a list and begin. There are a few options here. We can either use one of the templates that MailChimp provides and amend that, and that's a really great way of doing things. Um, very simple, very easy to do. But I'll show you how we are going to create maybe a sign up form for an event. Or, or sorry, a sign up landing page for an event. So what we could do then is advertise it or even email the link to the landing page and so on. Say to people, look, join us for our puppy training, enter your information, sign up by going to this page. So I'll, I'll do it from scratch. It's so similar to building an email campaign. So please make sure you've watched the email campaign uh, videos at first because there's a lot of overlap. So as I said, the the, uh, uh, the the templates, the sort of more advanced, or what look like more advanced, the more beautiful templates are very simple, uh, sim sorry, simple to amend for your own needs. But I'll just use this basic one for now just to demonstrate. So I've just clicked on the template. As I mentioned, very, very, very similar to the email uh, builder. We build our uh, landing page with its content using blocks on the left-hand side, and our blocks are on the right-hand side. Now, just as we did with our email, the first thing we need to do is click design and we can brand this for our own purposes. So again, let's say this text, the body text, we need it to be a certain font family in a certain color. We can go into body and I'll just go down. Um, so just bear with me one second. So for example, let's say I want to change the color. I could change this to a darker color if I wanted to. So I've done that. I could center align the text. I could change the font to a different font family and so on. So that's entirely up to you, to your branding needs. There are already blocks here we can use for content. And I'm clicking content and we can drag and drop blocks across. So please, yes, watch those email, uh, the lessons on, on email campaigns. Just to show that we can, I'm going to click on image to add a background image. And I'll just select any of my images, click insert. There we go. So there we have uh, our bulldog as the background image. And, we, and we can, we've got various options, uh, things we can do with that background image. Now we need to add a logo. So again, we just click our logo. We click replace. And in the content manager, we click on our logo and click insert. Really, really easy. Again, we would typically add a link and we really should add alt. Um, again, alt text is for people that are using screen readers. And if for some reason the image doesn't show. I'll just click on the headline section to add a headline. Uh, 
Okay, and I'll just manipulate this text here, just change it for my own needs. Pretty basic, but you get the idea. So what we're doing is asking people to, to sign up. If I click on the on the field, on the sign up fields here, I could add more fields if I really want to. And what happens is when people enter this information, they'll be added to my Mailchimp list. We could come into style, change uh, you know change the font we use for this and so on. We could come into settings and change the settings. Okay, so maybe that's the entire landing page we need so it's just a web page and then we're going to share the url to the web page so people can come and sign up nice and easy so i'm going to click save and close i need to add a page title and people do see this so please make it something meaningful uh i don't know gary's puppy training whatever you want to call it maybe it's your business name whatever click save this is important under the url we can, so, um, we can uh, host our landing page on a MailChimp URL, for example, mailchimp.mp, and, um, and then, you know, random, random letters or whatever you'd like to. But it's highly recommend, recommended that you use your own domain. That is $99 per year for your landing, for unlimited landing pages, uh, but it's much more professional, so I, I'd encourage that. But, but for this example, I'll just set up a, an example here let's just do uh, puppy training for example as the url click save i'll now publish this page i'm making it live on the web as it were okay so this url that's my url but hopefully you'll be using your own domain for this so if people come to this url i'll just show you this very quickly they come straight to my to my landing page so we can share this URL via advertising and then we could create a, a Facebook ad so that people sign up for our puppy class we could um, yeah send a postcard even we could email people and saying go to that URL we could uh, you know share it on our normal website or anything like that so as soon as someone enters the information in here they'll be added to our list. So I'll show you that. So we click subscribe. I'll go back into MailChimp and let me go to, to my list, sorry, to just illustrate that this person has now been added to our list. So I'll go into my list. And what I can do is in the source column, that tells me where someone has signed up. And we can see that this person has signed up on the landing page called test landing. And there they are there. So they're immediately added to our list when they sign up. So now I can collect the, that information from MailChimp and I can maybe market to them more, send them a welcome email based on the source they signed up at and so on. But back into landing pages, and I'm just going to click create campaign again. So that landing page is live until we um, unpublish it. It's live on the web. So landing pages, and I'll just do another example choose a list, click begin. Another good thing we can do, and I'll click the promote products. If we have e-commerce connected, um, a Shopify, Lemonstand store, etc., connected to MailChimp, we can bring products directly from that store or a product from that store onto our landing page and promote our landing page. So promote a very specific product. So if you do have e-commerce enabled in your MailChimp um, account, if, if you've connected your e-commerce store, you'll have various buttons such as product, promo code, and so on. And you can add um, you can add specific products and so on to your landing pages. So landing pages are really effective. They work really well. A lot of my clients are seeing incredibly good results using them as a sign-up form, as, as I illustrated, also to sell products. Some people are even using it for their business uh, website. They're setting up a one-page business website. Nice, quick, simple, very inexpensive to set up in MailChimp. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend landing pages.